If you're searching for some richer and deeper exhaust notes out of your 2004 or newer 4.0 liter 4Runner, this MBRP Installer Series Catback Exhaust will be a solid option to take a look into. Now getting right into sound, this will be a 3 out of 5 on the loudness meter with 1 being completely stock and 5 being wake the neighbors loud. Now that's going to make it a great choice for the 4Runner owner who's looking to up their street appeal when it comes to the volume but not completely be overbearing when it comes to daily driving applications. Now the styling of this exhaust, although subtle, will be a big change from the factory, offering an elevated and clean appearance if you're looking to ditch your old exhaust for a stylish option. Now this will feature MBRP's street profile, which will mix aggressive tones while being bearable inside the cab for longer drives and cruising on the highway. Now the design here will also allow an 18% increase in flow, which will help when it comes to performance, bringing some small gains to the table. Now the style here is also notable as far as features are concerned with a large dual wall angle cut tip in a polished finish for that classic and clean appearance. This will be made from two and a half inch mandrel bent aluminized steel material, which will be durable and hold up well, very similar to the factory system. The tip, however, will be made of a super high quality 304 stainless steel for the utmost rust resistance to maintain that premium appearance. Now, the rest of the kit will consist of all of the hardware and factory style hangers in the factory locations for an OE style fit. Now this will be one of your more affordable options for a catback system at about $400 for the kit. Now comparing this to other options, this is going to be cut and dry when it comes to the design, which is great if you're looking for an affordable way to change the sound of your 4Runner without breaking the bank. Now not to mention, this is a complete bolt-on mod with no cutting or modification, making it a very easy way to make a big difference on your 4Runner. Now, even though you don't have to modify your rig in order to get this on to it, this is still going to be a lighter 2 out of 3 wrenches on the difficulty meter, taking you about an hour to get the job done with the right tools and setup. Now, at this point, we can head over to the shop and check out a detailed breakdown of how to get this onto your 4Runner at home. That's going to wrap it up for me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Tools required for this install include an impact gun, an air gun, an exhaust hanger remover tool, a couple different size extensions, 14 and 15 millimeter sockets, an 8 millimeter Allen socket, a swivel adapter, and a pry bar. What's up guys? Today we're installing an exhaust on our 4Runner, so let's get started. So our first step is to unbolt our tailpipe from our muffler pipe. We have two 14 millimeter bolts on that flange that we need to remove, and then one hanger on our tailpipe to completely remove it. Now this one might be a little bit hard to see, but we're gonna have to go over our track bar and take our 14 millimeter socket to remove our bolts. Next we can come about a foot behind the end of our tailpipe and we have one hanger right up here. It's gonna be a little hard to see, but we'll get our exhaust hanger remover and pop that out of our isolator. Now with our tailpipe free, we can wiggle it out of the way. Next we can start working on our muffler pipe. Now we have two hangers towards the front by our flange that we can pop out first. So we'll grab an exhaust hanger tool, let's 
pop those isolators off. And next we can grab the one on the front side of our muffler. And then we can throw that back on to our rod. Next we can come up to our flange and remove these two 14 millimeter spring bolts. So we'll grab a 14 millimeter socket to pop these out. Now we can come back behind the muffler and remove our two last hangers. Now it's gonna be a good idea to grab a buddy to go back to the flange to hold that because once we remove these two hangers, the whole piece is gonna fall. So we'll grab our exhaust from hanger remover tool, pop these out. And then remove our pipe. And now with our hangers removed, we can remove our muffler pipe. So our first step is to install our front pipe. We have two hanger rods coming off of our pipe that will get into our isolators first, and then we can get our two spring bolts through the flange. Now we're gonna install two washers that are included in the kit on each of our spring bolts. And then we can grab a 14 millimeter socket and extension to thread our bolts in. And then we'll do that same thing for the other one. And now once we have both of our bolts threaded in, we can take our 14 millimeter socket to tighten these down. We're gonna go back and forth so that we put equal pressure on the flange. Next we can install our muffler. So we're gonna take one of our clamps and slide that over the edge and then slide our muffler onto our front pipe. And then we can get our clamp into place and tighten that down with a 15 millimeter socket. Next we can install our over axle pipe. So we'll grab another clamp to slide onto our muffler outlet. and then we can raise this up and then put it through our two isolators. And now we can come back to our clamp and slide that into place and tighten it down with our 15 millimeter socket. Next we can install our tailpipe. So we're gonna take another one of our clamps, and slide that on, and then we're gonna be going into this hanger first. So slide that in.
Now, if you're having trouble with connecting these two pipes, you can take a pry bar at the back here to change the angle to get that to slide in. And now we can take a 15 millimeter socket to tighten down our clamp. Now lastly, we can install our tip. So we'll slide this onto our tailpipe and then tighten down our eight millimeter Allen bolt. Now you can adjust your tip to have as much or as little poke as you'd like. And once it's in a place you like, you can take an eight millimeter Allen socket to tighten it down. So that'll wrap up this review and install of the MBRP Installer Series Catback Exhaust for your 2004 and newer 4 liter 4Runner. Thank you for watching and for all things 4Runner, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.